Welcome back to Blindly Honestly, and if you are new, I hope you enjoy today's video as well. So if you're wondering why it is so echoey, it is because one, I'm in my bathroom right now, and two, it's because I'm doing a mask review, and I haven't really done a mask review in a long time. It's been like, I don't even know what the last mask review I did that I actually like sat in the bathroom and reviewed. I think it was the L'Oreal Kiwi, but that might have been in my makeup room too. Anyways, so today I'm going to be trying out and reviewing the Bliss Mighty Marshmallow Face Mask. And I bought this from Target and it was $12.99 and you get 1.7 ounces. It's supposed to revive dull lackluster skin deliver a fresh lit from within glow and visibly smooths uneven skin tone and discoloration and it's hypoallergenic and dermatologist tested and bliss is animal cruelty free. I really want to try this out. My friend Heather from Catch Your Breath Beauty suggested this mask so I decided to try it for myself. Sunday we went to Santa Monica Beach and we were in the sun all day so my skin really, really needs a little bit of refreshing to feel better. I feel like I look burnt, but everyone says I look fine. But like right here and on my nose, I feel really burnt. <laughs> so hopefully this will help relieve a little bit of the burniness to my face. It's supposed to be a very light mask. So the box itself, when you get it, it's very basic design. I like the design of the box. It's not too flashy. There's not much going on. It just says Bliss on the front, it says Bliss Mighty Marshmallow. On the side it has the design, I think this is how the marshmallow mask looks. And on the back it says Glow Up. <laughs> this airy whipped mask with a brightening boost of marshmallow root extract delivers a surge of hydration to instantly reveal a new luminosity. Plus, powerful antioxidants like vitamin C, olive leaf extract, and lemon oil help visibly smooth out uneven skin tone and discoloration. After just one use, the skin is fresher, brighter, and better. So we will see how my face looks after I use this. Which, by the way, that is the reason why my hair is not done. I don't have no makeup on because I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do a chill and relaxing video. Friday's video will be the ColourPop foundation review, so that will be a little bit more extra. So the directions are smooth a thick layer onto clean, dry skin, avoiding the eye area, and leave on for 10 to 15 minutes, and then rinse thoroughly. And you're supposed to use it two to three times per week. The inside of the box looks like construction paper. It's kind of weird, but whatever. This is the container, and honestly, it reminds me of like the old-fashioned um, like night cream. So, and then it has a cap to ensure freshness. Oh, it looks like strawberry whipped cream. It smells really good. So you can see that it really looks like whipped cream. <laughs> so I'm going to apply a thick layer of this on my skin, leave it on for 10 minutes, and then I will check in with you guys when I wash it off to see how it feels, so. It feels like really thick and creamy. I like how it feels. And I'm already telling you, a little bit goes a long way with this. Cause that was just one little finger grab in there. Okay, so I, I think that is thick enough. I mean, it looks like I have marshmallow over my face. It feels very soothing and relaxing. I don't feel any type of burn or tingling. So I'm sorry, my 15 minute timer, and I will check in with you guys after the 15 minutes. So it's been about 15 minutes and honestly it dried down more than I thought it would. I didn't think it was going to dry down. I thought it was going to stay soft. I mean it's tacky, but I mean 
it did dry and I did see like it's cracking on my nose so it did obviously did dry so I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face and then I will tell you guys my final thoughts on how my face feels after this mask okay so I washed it off and my face does look brighter in the mirror but looking at the ingredients I'm not all educated I'm not a doctor but it does have orange lime and lemon and I don't know how old some of you guys are but back in the day summer times we would put lemon in our hair and we would go lay out in the sun to bleach our hair yeah I'm aging myself I'm aware of this but <laughs> I feel like maybe the fact that it has the orange the lime and the lemon extracts and peels in it may have something to do with how bright my face looks. It would definitely be worth looking into the ingredients to see what each individual ingredient does. But you know, I, I ain't got time for that right now. So yeah, that's about it. If you guys like this short video, please go ahead and like, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you want to join my hashtag butterfly squad, make sure you hit that bell for notifications Comment down below, hashtag Butterfly Squad, if you've hit the notification bell. Because then that way you'll be notified every time I upload videos. And I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific Time. And Friday nights at 8 o'clock, I go live with Beauty Chats with Jen, where I talk about anything and everything beauty, including drama in the beauty industry, new products getting released, my thoughts and reviews on old products, new products, tips, tricks, whatever you guys want to talk about, I'm there for it. It's just a fun, chill hangout conversation, so don't stress about it. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I appreciate your continuous love and support. You guys are amazing and I could not be doing this without you. Literally, I would not be filming videos if I didn't think anybody enjoyed watching them. So, I'm going to get going. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. I wish you lots of love and whiskers, and I will see you guys next time. Love you. Bye. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds of.